Hi guys, Danny James back here again with another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial on how to make a carousel effect using keyframes. So we're going to look at an example of which we've done before. Uh, this is how it looks. As you can see, the images come in, they slide out, they reduce in opacity and also the scaling and they go back again on the other side and everything else just comes back like a carousel. And all of these we're going to do using Adobe Premiere Pro and only using keyframes to do it. So I'm going to drag a couple of pictures right into my timeline. Now, and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to arrange these clips in a staircase manner, something like this. This gives us a, a method to move forward. I'm going to look at what I want to have. This is how the pictures are going to follow each other. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to scale down everything, somewhere like that. And I'm going to give them a starting point to this right side. And I'm going to do the same thing on every other clip. Okay guys, that's really good. Uh, we're going to start now making this effect. We're going to drag the pictures right from here to the central area of the program monitor. And then we're slowly going back to take it to the left side and reduce the opacity. So we're going to put a cross dissolve just to make the picture appear slowly, gradually. First thing we're going to do to this clip we're going to our effect controls panel and you're going to add a keyframe on position and scale. Take everything, make everything begin there and define where you want the clip to end at. So I want it to be right here in the middle. And I also want the scale to be up just like that. We also forgot to put a keyframe on the opacity. We want our opacity to end at 100, but to begin at zero. Just like that let's look at it what we have this looks really really good and we're going to make the same photo disappear once again uh, just as it, as it came here we're going to move it to the other side using keyframes now you want to go somewhere you want now the effect to begin or to start transitioning it back add keyframes to it but you're not going to change any values then go a few steps ahead and revert things back to where you wanted them. I want the scaling to end right there. And I want the position, the eventual position to be right here. And I also want the opacity to be low, something like that. Up to 30%, not up to zero, but 30% maybe. So let's see what we have right now. Good, that looks good. Now we want to do the same thing to this other picture. I'm going to add a cross dissolve so that it appears gradually also. And as the other photo, the middle photo starts moving, we want this one, the, the second one to start also moving. So I'm going to add keyframes to it once again and push the keyframes to the very, like, I'm okay with where the keyframes are at right now. We also want the opacity to be about 30%. And go to the next point. We want the picture to come to a scaling of this size. And we also want it to come to the central area too. And we also want the opacity to be at 100. Let's see what you have right now from the beginning. Now that we have this image moving to the central area, you want it to also disappear and, and follow the other clip. And you're going to add a keyframe for every for opacity, scale and opacity, but we're not going to change the values. Then go a few steps ahead and move it to the left side. 
scale it down and have the opacity go back to 30 percent and that's and we have this look that looks good now we want as this second picture starts moving we want the other picture to start following through and we're going to add a keyframe once again As this other picture starts moving, this other one ought, ought to move also. So we are going to scale it back. Move it to the central area. And make sure the opacity goes to 100% too. We also forgot to place the other opacity measure that starts at zero or at 30% rather. And take it to the left side. Now let's see what you have. Bam, that looks good. And we have the final image right here. I'm going to quickly do it. We also forgot to do one thing. As soon as this image came here, we, need, we needed to add keyframes to make it go to the other side to disappear also. Uh, we move a few steps ahead, frames ahead, add keyframes, but we're not going to change any values. And once again, we're going to move a few frames ahead and revert back to opacity 30 percent or a lower opacity we are also going to decrease the scaling and you're also going to move it to the left hand side of the program monitor and this is what you have once again from the very start And you're going to do the same thing for the last photo. You make sure, want to make sure this last photo starts appearing into the frame as soon as this one starts leaving the central area of the program monitor. Now let's start adding keyframes once again for pro position, scale, and opacity. Opacity should be beginning at 30. Sorry, the opacity should begin at 30. 30. I'm going to move these keyframes to the very end and moving ahead I'm going to take the scaling back and the position back to the middle of the program monitor and the opacity back to a hundred percent do the same thing go a few frames ahead add keyframes but we're not going to change values and we're going to go to the farthest end or to the last step and and as soon as we have it we also need it to disappear just like the rest of the clips 30 percent needs to go back to a scaling of 65 an opacity of 60 of 30 percent sorry and we're also going to move it to the left hand side the one last step to refine the edits we need to make sure as soon as this last picture goes to the very far end the picture that was underneath needs to move away just like this one we need to end this clip right here with a cross dissolve too so that as soon as this other one moves the other one disappears completely and the same thing shall apply to this other picture that's easy to do and let's make it look a little bit beautiful let's add a color mat so that we have a background for all of this now let's see the final look and that's it that's easy to do i hope you enjoyed this tutorial see you in the next time peace